What is up guys, BeatChasD here, and today I'm bringing you a dual player review. First player is Jose Enrique, you can see him there in left midfield, playing him in 4-4-2. Right, so we start off with his stats, 80 overall, ball control is 80, crossing is 83, curve is 87, 80 dribbling and 86 marking. There is main sort of first overall stats, followed up by 83 short passing. A 95 shot power gun, that is high. Slide tackling is 83, stand tackle is 90. As he used to be a defender in his original position, so good defensive stats there. I don't know why in the top left it says left back, when well, he's actually left midfielder. <coughs> but uh, it does have a high attacking work rate, high medium work rate, and uh, weak foot is 2 star and 3 star skill moves. Um, some really really good stats if you look at acceleration 85 so he's very very pacey jumping is 81 reactions are 85 sprint speed is 87 and uh, some other really really high stats as you go on mental attributes are just aggression is 82 and interception is 85 he's a really really strong kind of player when you're using him it's a very muscly one on one when he's running uh, down the wing to cross balls in is very very good to be honest with you so um, you can see him here first off, corners whipped in, scores a rebound, nice diving little header there. Um, but overall, heading is his worst attribute, that's the only bad thing I could say about Jose Enrique. Um, really poor heading most of the time when he could easily score. <coughs> Sorry, I got a bit of sore throat. But um, that's his only bad bit, his pace as you're sprinting down the ring. You can see him here, uh, just nice little running moves, running round him. And uh, it does continue to run, and that was his weak foot, right-footed shot there. So uh, his accuracy is pretty good as well, considering he's a left midfield and he scored that nice right foot. But once he passes the ball and gives it away, he does continue to run, carries on moving. So he's a really, really good player to have in that sort of way. Because I know that when I've had pass players playing in midfield like Cesc Fabregas, they just pass it and then run backwards in the defence so it's really bad but Enrique is really good, really powerful runs as well, he could jostle in between with defenders come out on top and it's just really really good to see and it's a good player to have um, he does seem to play more of a striker role in the than what he does in left midfielder but that could be just because of the formation I used in 4-4-2 so uh, that's pretty much all I have to say in some aspects for Jose Enrique. He's fully recommendable, guys. Um, pretty cheap as well. I think he's probably I picked him up for forty k at the start of the weekend when I was using him, but he's probably probably thirty k ish about now. So um, that would be a complete guess. So, but fully worth the price. Um, yeah, definitely head over and buy him. The second player that we will move on to a little bit after is uh, Inform 88 rated Benzema. Really, really good um, overall for him, but we'll move on that after. Just like I say, yesterday's video we targeted 38 likes and it's currently on 70. So thank you very much for that. If this could get 41 likes, that would be brilliant. You see slowly moving up the target amount of likes, which would be brilliant if you could hit that. And comment um, who you want to who you think will be in the team of the week on Wednesday. I'll try and get a Cazola review up tomorrow. So uh, here is Benzema, my uh, right striker there, 88 overall in form this week. So straight away you can see standout stats, 98 finishing, and 100% I agree with that one. 90 ball control, crossing is 80, 87 curve, 86 dribbling, 90 um, short passing and 93 shot power. Those shot shooting stats, really, really good, really powerful um, overall to be honest with you. 86 uh, long shots as well, so pretty much you feel like most of the time they're going to go in. Yeah, um, high attacking wear rate and medium defensive wear rate, medium attacking wear rate, sorry, uh, 4 star weak foot and 4 star skills. Physical attributes, he does have 87 acceleration, 81 agility, jumping, um, at fairly average, 73, 94 reactions, 94 stamina, and 88 sprint speed, so really, really good stats there. Um, not so good on the strength, which is only 78, but hey-ho. Um, attacking position is 87, and vision is 81. You don't need vision too much for a striker. Um, but you do need that position. So, really, really good stats there. Lots of nice light greens and a few dark greens. Mainly standing out is his shooting attributes. <coughs> so, uh, you can't complain about that one as a striker. Now, if you did compare him to his original card, I absolutely hated his original card. 
Um, seemed really, really slow. Really, shooting was poor. So I didn't really enjoy to use him, to be honest with you. But uh, this one is far, far better, guys. Um, I couldn't recommend him enough on uh, some aspects. Really, really good. You can see some of the goals now that I move on to. You know, nice little through ball run, simple finesse. Um, you can see four star weak foot. I think he had. It makes these shots look easy. Very, very simple. He could uh, shoot, have nice long shots, and on his left foot, which is really, really useful to have. Um, sometimes a swap. He did play alongside with Torres, and I played Torres where he could shoot on his right foot most of the time. Nice passing move there, simple, shoots open net right, not much to go off there. <laughs> but still, his strength as well, I think his strength when we checked a minute ago on the in-game stats was pretty poor. I think it was 78 strength, but he still does well jostling in between defenders. Does manage to come out on top quite a bit. <coughs> um, and as well, his pace is really, really good as well. Couldn't really say a bad word about his pace. You missed goal there, but it'll come up on the replay. My Elgato did mess up a little bit there, don't know what happened. So, uh, fully recommendable. How much is he? I think he was. Really struggling to remember what his price was, actually. I think it was 415k I went out and picked him up for in the end, so, very pricey. <coughs> um, I wouldn't say he's worth the price, because 400k is an awful lot for a striker. But he is still very, very good. If you do have the coins and you can afford to just splash out the cash, then I really, really would. Fully, ma really, really big. You can see him jostling there and he does come out on top. Powerful shot. But yeah, massive, massive improvement on his original card. So that's really, really good to see. <coughs> really good to have. And um, fully, fully, fully recommendable. Please um, let me know if any of you guys do have him. It wouldn't surprise me if you do because he is a good player and it's one that you want to look out for and get so let me know what you think of the two players that I have reviews um, so like I said earlier 41 likes is the target for this video for a Cazola review tomorrow the inform from this week's team of the week um, I won't give away too much but he is a really really good player to use so that's my sort of things on both Enrique and do to do Benzema so hopefully you enjoyed them this video is coming to an end please do remember to drop a like uh, please also remember to subscribe I think yesterday we hit 1.2k so a massive thank you for that hopefully um, plenty more to come and I will see you guys later <coughs>